My husband and I went through a very unexpected loss this week and it broke our hearts. In an attempt to avoid our house falling apart more than it already has in just this week, I'm trying to get up and catch up after letting myself do nothing for a week except grieve and take care of my son. This has been the hardest week for my husband and I and I'm trying to get up and continue on for the sake of my son. My goal for this week was to take some time to heal and I'm not healed all the way yet. That's impossible in a week. But I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm going to start one room at a time so I don't overwhelm myself and make it too difficult for myself. And this video is likely going to be a long one because it's just so much. Nothing... Like, I haven't gotten much done this week. I'm likely going to start with the kitchen because it's worse. Um, and move on to the rest. And my goal is for hopefully cleaning up my house and for the millionth time you've seen me clean it over and over but this time was really this time I was really low So my attempt to clean up is to help myself heal and do better and try to move on. So come along with me while I do that because it's, it's a mess and it's going to be a doozy. So I hope that this video helps someone who may be going through some loss as well and encourages them to for their own mental health and their own sake to not totally let their house get so bad that it's unmanageable. It's only been a week and it's already insane the mess that we've made. So, follow along with me for that. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching today's video and welcome if you're new. It's nice to meet you. My name is Kiwi and I am a mom of a one-year-old and if you didn't watch my intro, uh, this is one week of just not doing anything and giving myself time to grieve after a loss and it is insane the mess we made. And so today I'm tackling that, and I thank you all so much for being here to watch me do that. This, as you can tell by the length of the video, is a very long video. It took me roughly eight hours to do with five hours of footage. And the reason I had more or less footage of what I cleaned is because I did a lot off camera such as putting away clothes or any editing magic that I did which is basically just me putting my hand over the camera and calling it editing magic 
but there's a lot of in-between stuff that y'all aren't seeing so this took me some time and I'm glad that I broke it up between uh, I think it was about five days and so I'm glad that y'all are here with me and if you're going through something like a loss too then I hope this helps you and motivates you to clean up your house you deserve a clean house especially when you're grieving so thank you so much for watching this means so much to me and I'm glad you're here and let me know down in the comments if you're cleaning along with me or just watching to get motivated So first I started by separating all of the dishes into groups, so such as cups and bowls and Tupperware, silverware, pots and pans, all of that. It makes the dishes process so much easier for me, so that's what I'm doing here. And then we get on to a lot of dishes. In fact, there were so many that I had to use some of that editing magic that I talked about earlier and finish it off. I'll finish it all off camera because it was just you know we would I would wash a lot of them and then we'd make dinner and it was just piling up and I was I just had to do it off camera because it was more work to film it but uh, this is definitely a lot of dishes motivation for you So if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me start practically from scratch over and over and over. It seems like I just cannot keep up and I cannot keep my house clean, which makes for a lot of content, but it's also very frustrating for me and I'm sure it's frustrating for some of you too. But I wanted to give myself some grace this week and I wasn't mad at myself while I was doing this. I was just calm and getting it done and now it is so clean because I was using it as a distraction. It actually ended up being such a good distraction, but now I feel so much better and it feels nice to just sit in a clean house and record this voiceover. Also, you just saw my husband put my son in front of the camera, which I thought that was so cute. So he's going to do that later on too. So that's his new thing that he likes to do. They You'll notice throughout this video that dishes and laundry are my enemy. Like those are the two things that I struggle with the most and it's just so hard to keep up with. But I finally was able to fold pretty much all of my laundry and I'm just so glad that that's done and I did all the dishes and we've been keeping up on it. So I'm thankful and I'm really glad that I took the time to instead of let the house get worse which was inevitable to just get up and clean it which is hard but it actually ended up being really good for me it was almost like therapy this time so it was good You'll probably notice that I have way too much stuff. <laughs> like, it's actually overwhelming. So, 
I have been wanting to get rid of a lot of stuff lately and I've just been waiting for the time to make that my sole video. So that's the next thing I'm going to be working on most likely. So stay tuned for that. I have definitely too many towels. We have too many toys for my son and I have too many clothes and so that's just the key. We have too much. And it's probably going to be a series of decluttering because I just want to be minimal. I am tired of cleaning over and over a bunch of crap. So I'm going to look at everything as, okay, I have to clean that. If Is it really worth my time cleaning it all the time? No, not really. So I can get rid of a lot of stuff. Obviously, I can't get rid of like my mom and my brothers and my husband's stuff. But that's okay and I can maybe encourage them so we'll see what happens I have so many ideas for videos I really want to deep clean my entire house and I have a partnership coming up and I want to also finish painting my the back room where which we call the game room because it has a pool table because there is you'll see it's a purple wall and it is not close to being finished and it's been like that since I was like a preteen this is my mom's house we've we're living with her currently and I'm just doing my best to make everyone feel at home. That's my contribution and I'm really actually really happy about it. I love just cooking and cleaning and making it feel like a safe place for everyone. So that fills me with joy and I'm excited for all of the videos that I have in mind because you guys are going to love all of them. So I don't want to talk too much about my the recent loss that we went through um, because I'm just not ready to talk about it. But I did want to mention that if you are going through a loss as well and your house is just kind of falling apart, just know that that's okay. It's all right to sometimes go through stuff. That's life. And all that matters is you have a good cry, you rest and grieve for some time and then get up and grieve while taking care of yourself because there is a certain point where it's important to just get back up clean up your house and make yourself feel at home do a bunch of self-care you know whatever that helps you feel better that's productive that's what's important right now and give yourself enough time to where it's not too long, but it's not too short. You know, I think I was I was ready to start o after a week, and I kind of made myself be ready, but I didn't realize what a therapeutic feeling cleaning up my house would have. I genuinely was able to just go off and think about things that weren't my loss and just kind of try to distract myself in the most productive way possible. However, with that being said, it's also very, very important for you to feel the grieving, feel the loss, move through it, honor the loss, and it's important to grieve that. Like, if you just put it off, then that's not going to be good for you. Crying and feeling all the feels is human and perfectly okay. 
and it's normal like i said you're human and that's a human need it's actually super important for us to feel those feelings so don't beat yourself up for feeling those feelings but also don't don't let things get too bad but that's the hardest part so it's easier said than done i'm of course sending all the love and never judging because i have definitely been there where things have gotten so overwhelming so i'm proud of you just keep moving on you can get through this and this too shall pass Someone in my comments a few videos back mentioned that when they do the dishes, they have half a sink full of hot water to just put their dishes in to rinse. And it helps with the soap taste not be on your dishes. Well, before when I saw that, I had never tasted soap on my dishes. So I was just like, okay, it's fine. I'm going to keep rinsing it. Like, that's how I prefer to do it. But recently, one of my water bottles tasted like soap like every time i drink water it tastes like soap so sometime soon i am going to try that hack and see how well it does because it sounds super interesting now that i literally was felt like i was drinking soap so thanks to whoever suggested that because i think it might be a very good solution like you mentioned So also on one of my videos, I had so many people asking me if my dishwasher was broken and yes, it's broken. It's been broken since we really got it. It was a hand-me-down and it didn't last for very long. <clears throat> so actually, the story is I moved out and got my apartment <clears throat> and when we had a dishwasher, I did not know how to use it. I've never really used a dishwasher. I have always been the dishwasher, and that dishwasher was game-changing. I miss having one. It was so nice to have one, and I will for sure make sure that my house or apartment or wherever I move next will have a working dishwasher because that would be game-changing. So my camera, even though it does the job, and I actually really love this camera because it was $80 and it was my first investment in this YouTube channel. Well, it is weird and it glitches in and out on color. Like sometimes it has a very crisp color and then sometimes it turns into like a grayish hue and it's just like faded. So I don't know what that is all about. I am so sorry. I don't know if all of my videos have that but I think it's mostly this video that's been doing that so it's a little weird but I'm just gonna run with it until I can afford to get a more expensive and higher quality camera but you know you guys who are here and watching me even though my quality isn't amazing it just means you guys have bragging rights later on whenever I upgrade my equipment
All right, finally, we are pretty much done with the dishes. I will do some of my ed editing magic here and we can move on to cleaning like the counters and the rest of the kitchen, which I was so thankful to have all of these dishes done. I was over it. This was like two days of dishes. I could not handle it any longer. If anyone has any tips on how to get burnt food off of these glass stove tops, that'd be amazing. I tried the solution that the oven came with and it works okay, but it doesn't work for the really burnt on stuff. And we have never had a glass stove top before and no matter what I do, it doesn't work. Although I did spray some vinegar on it recently and it helped a little bit, so I might try making some sort of homemade cleaner or something because i had vinegar dawn dish soap and i think some water in a spray bottle that i was cleaning it with and it helped a little bit so please let me know if vinegar is the solution or if i need to buy another product i am desperate because it looks so terrible and i feel like it's not good for the oven So while I was cleaning this counter, I realized that my wall was extremely gross and extremely dirty. So I decided to clean this little section of it and it motivated me and made me want to do the entire wall, especially like the black backsplash area because I didn't realize how dirty they are. But I wanted to save that for another video, maybe my deep cleaning video because it would have just made this video so much longer and I already knew it was going to be a long video because I mean, look at my house. It's so terrible. So this bar desperately needed to be cleaned. It was starting to smell weird. And I think one of us might have accidentally spilt some sort of milk on that mat. And just it didn't get cleaned up like all the way. Oh, there's my son again. <laughs> and so I took the whole thing apart and made sure that I wiped under there. Because even though I didn't necessarily have to go this extra mile, I knew it would make me feel really good. Which it did. I need to start, now that I'm more on top of my house, I need to start getting into the deep cleaning. And I'm actually really started, excited to start getting into that because I know it's going to make me feel so much better. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I want to live your life
I love this coffee and tea bar so much, but I want to work on some organization because it just doesn't look the way I would like it to. So I'm going to look into that, but it did look kind of cute with me rearranging it like this. Although the veggies in the corner kind of ruin it. So I'll have to go through those and put them in the hanging basket. And that way it won't be on the counter. But it does look cute so far and I just need to really revamp it and make it look new again. Please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite and least favorite chore is. Somehow my favorite chore is dishes, but my least favorite part is putting them away. But I also hate dishes, so it's complicated. I feel like if I had to pick anything, it would probably be ugh, it would probably be cleaning the bathroom because I clean that one more frequently and it's a lot easier, but I think overall, I do kind of enjoy dishes. It's just kind of nice to stare out the window and think while I do all that. It's just putting away that sucks. I hate that part. Another goal for this cleaning week, I guess I could say, was to kind of help um, baby proof my house a little bit more so that if I need to just lay on the couch and chill out, I don't have to worry about my son getting into stuff he shouldn't because usually I just kind of follow him around and it's exhausting. The main thing that he was getting into was my desk drawer and those drawers over there on the left and I finally baby proofed them. I didn't film myself doing that, but that took about an hour. And now I was just like sleep sweeping and mopping and I cleaned under that trash can, which was insane how much stuff got under there somehow. And it's on a stool because my son likes to dig in the trash, so that's why. But it was so nice to just get it all cleaned up and not have to worry about him getting into stuff that he shouldn't. You smell like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind all the who goes doing stage dives I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you would say yeah I don't see the logic of things It's quite a you 
thanks to me. This mop like fell apart in my hands. I was mopping and towards the end it started like folding in some places and I guess the metal had just gotten weak over time of us using it. But like holy crap it just like crumbled. You can't really tell from the video but I we need to get a new mop because I don't know what happened but it felt so good to just have that smell good like after you mop it smells so good in your house and it was just the best feeling i'm so glad that i took the time to mop and if you've been watching me you'll see that sometimes i skip that step because it just seems overwhelming but i always forget how good i feel afterwards because it smells good it looks good and i know that our floors are clean and you'll see the water in just a second absolutely terrifying <laughs> it's so gross i'm gonna mop again because i know that's not all the dirt that was on there but i was just kind of in a rush to get the rest of the house clean too this was kind of just the finishing touch to the kitchen and i'm really glad i did it All right, and here's the before and after of the kitchen. I hope y'all find this as satisfying as I do because I am admiring our kitchen right now and it just looks so good. I am so glad that I got this done. All right, now onto the bathroom. We have this huge stack of tiles here and there was still more while I was doing some laundry. <sighs> Needless to say, we have way too many towels and so I need to go through and get rid of a lot of them. But for now, I just got to figure out how to shove them all in there. So I didn't show it on the camera, but I just kind of shoved them in our shelf where we usually have them. And when you pull one out, they're definitely going to fall out, but that's okay gives me a little bit more content more to go through and i was just doing what i could to kind of get the house feeling better so that's what i did with all those towels and this is how the bathroom is looking also right there where i was sweeping 
is uh, my dog's hair. So she is shedding like crazy right now. And we had to give her a bath because, well, an emergency bath because sometimes when we let her out, she goes across the street to the horses and rolls in the manure, I guess I should say. So I needed to sweep and I also needed to clean the bath really quick because it was gross after we bathed her in there. It desperately needed to be done. So I'm glad I got that done and now I feel so much better. So a little bit ago, I was trying to dump out the wax melt uh, into the trash can and it splattered all over the toilet, all over the floor as you can see right there, and on the wall a little bit. So I'm going to try one of these days to use a, um, a hair dryer to get it off and hopefully it'll melt it a little bit and then I can wipe it off, but it is stuck there. It is not going anywhere. We have red wax on our toilet, so it's just a little annoying. I wish I didn't do that. I wish I was more careful, but you know, it happens. So our shower curtain desperately needed to be washed. I wish I showed the bottom of it, but it was like so dirty, so bad. I threw it in the washer and then put it back up because it made, it honestly made the bathroom smell really good and it desperately needed to be done. And now I'm going to feel so much better and not have another thing on my mind when I take a shower, which should be a relaxing moment, but it's not because my brain is thinking about all the things that I need to do to make my house cleaner so that's one less thing on my mind
So as you can tell, my son had a really fun day. It was such a mess in the living room. And I don't know, like seeing, sometimes seeing these messes warms my heart, especially when it's toys. It just shows me that he had a very fun day. He was focused on playing and that's what matters, honestly. It makes me happy when he plays, especially because he only recently started showing interest in playing and he's i believe uh, 16 months now yeah he's 16 months now so i felt the pressure <laughs> i was like dude i can't just hold you all the time and maybe try playing <laughs> so i tried to play with him a little bit but now he's more into independent playing a little bit more so it makes me a little bit happier take a chance with this woman So man, can you tell that this little boy is spoiled by all of his family members? I literally only bought him toys for Christmas and everyone else keeps buying him toys, which I really appreciate, but it has gotten out of hand. I can't even fit all of his toys in his toy box. So I'm definitely gonna have to go through those soon because it is getting ridiculous. I cannot believe that even though some small stuff can't fit in there. So he also has way too many stuffed animals. You'll see you probably saw me throwing them aside and he has a separate basket for his stuffed animals and it's overflowing that too. So I have a lot of downsizing to do for him and he's at a perfect age where he won't even notice whenever I go through his stuff. So it's not a big deal. So I was 100% ready for this suitcase to be completely empty and I didn't realize that my son had stuffed toys in there. It was supposed to be empty because we had just gone on a trip and I immediately when we got home took all of our clothes out of the suitcase and threw them in the washer because I just wanted to be on top of that. But I wasn't on top of putting the suitcase away which my son apparently found pretty fun so I thought that was a cute little surprise. And we're going on another trip soon, so I just kind of took everything out and then I'm going to just have to pack it all again. I promised I would wait for you, but I'm getting so impatient. Tell me that you're ready now. This room is big enough for two. And I want to do that something, something that will blow your mind. And yet another thing that I need to go through and get rid of. He has so many books and I love the idea of him having lots of books. So don't get me wrong, I honestly plan on getting a bigger bookshelf because that might help way better because I prefer him having more books however some of them are broken and torn because he's a little rough with them right now so I just need to get rid of and donate those if they're not too bad and I clearly have a long list of decluttering ahead of me I am sorry about the lighting in some of this. My house does not have very good lighting and I desperately need to get a ring light, but I don't have that in the budget. So we're just doing what we can. I try to brighten it up a little bit in the settings, but this is as bright as it's going to get. Like, I'm sorry it's not crisp and clear, but we're working with what we have. 
I'm being resourceful. <laughs> Holding all of these clothes was definitely very overwhelming. It took me a really long time. I was not, this was like the least fun part. And cleaning is not necessarily fun in general, but I guess it was kind of nice to just kind of put on the TV and watch that while I folded. But the hardest part for me, I guess, is I can't put the clothes away as easily when my son is sleeping because he's in our bedroom. And so it's just a long task. Like sometimes it takes me like a few days because I have to wait for my son to be awake. So it's a little tricky, but sometimes I try to sneak in there anyways and not wake him up. He's pretty good about sleeping though, so it's not too big of a deal. I did have a lot of socks that I did not go through and pair and match up because that's just something I'm going to have to do off camera. It's just going to take way too much time. I'm already up at 4 a.m. the night before this video is supposed to go up editing this video. So there was no way I was going to be able to just do all the socks because it was like two baskets full, like full size baskets full of socks. No, three. I'm wrong. Three baskets full. Maybe I'll do a video about it. It'll be a longer, more boring <laughs> video, so we'll see what I do. I recently started wearing my Fitbit again, which has been super nice. It's kept me motivated, but after all of this cleaning that I did, one of the days I ended up having like 15,000 steps and I was actually super proud of myself for that. And it kind of made me more and more motivated because I think that's one of the biggest amount of steps I've ever done. I think the only time I beat that was when we went to Disney World I believe I got like 20,000 steps in and I was so sore at the end of it, but 
it was totally worth it such a beautiful place and this was totally worth it and it actually felt nice to get that large amount of exercise in From now on, I'm going to try my hardest to fold the laundry right away out of the dryer like so many of my comments suggested in my last laundry video. I was doing that for a lot of time at, off camera in this week. I was actually folding them right out of the dryer and putting them away right away, which was very helpful for the fact that all of this is just after like the 10 to 15 loads that I did just right away. So I we were behind on laundry before this loss. So I was very glad to get it done again. And now I want to forever stay on top of laundry because I am not doing this again. <laughs> I swear if I have to do this again, I will not be okay. <laughs> so I will stay on top of it now. I get so caught up in this was towards the end of the video and i was so done i just wanted the video to be over i did not want to finish all of this laundry but i'm glad i pushed through and just finished it although i do wish that i maybe didn't film this one but i feel like i've been avoiding this room for so long and i desperately needed to get it filmed so I'm glad I got it finished, but I hated it in the moment. My goal was to do more than just folding all the laundry in this room. Um, however, I was just exhausted and so I'm gonna combine the rest of the room in a different video. But at least I got all the laundry done and I'm very proud of myself for that because it was a long time that needed to be done. I was running low on laundry. My son was ru running low on laundry, which is insane because he has so many clothes. But anyways, I'm glad that I got most of it done and stay tuned for the rest so that I can get this house perfectly clean. I 
just cannot wait to be more minimal, more clean, and a better me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!